The NRA is imploring its members not to surrender their weapons. This is the first meeting of the National Rifle Association since the mass shooting in Newtown, Connecticut took the lives of young children. And as Brian Moore reports, the public face of the NRA put U.S. President Barack Obama in his crosshairs. And I now call to order. At its annual convention in the heart of gun country, the National Rifle Association is digging in for a fight. We will never surrender our guns, never. America's biggest gun lobby, which claims four million members, not only rode out the political storm after shooting tragedies in Tucson, Aurora, and Newtown, it has successfully crushed the most serious gun control push in decades. The group's incoming president is asking members to look ahead to next year's congressional elections, a chance to send more pro-gun lawmakers to Washington. We do that, and Obama can be stopped. President Obama's gun control efforts have given the NRA what it has lacked for years, an easy target. But your gun control legislation won't stop one criminal, wouldn't make anyone safer anywhere. At this gathering, the nightmare scenario is a world where good guys don't have guns. How many Bostonians wish they had a gun two weeks ago? The debate here isn't about gun ownership, it's about a birthright, the constitutional right to bear arms. We need the Second Amendment, needs all the support it can get right now. The NRA represents just a fraction of gun owners, and polls show overwhelming support for background checks. We got to figure out a way to uh, make gun owners a little more responsible. But the gun lobby continues to have a powerful voice. This is a fight for the future of freedom. And for the NRA, Welcome. that future Taylor is getting a head start. Wagon. Our youngest life member, Aliyah Wagon. Not yet four years old, Aliyah may be too young to understand the fight raging around her, but she puts a different face on a gun lobby now going on the offensive. 25. Brian Moore, Global News, Washington.